We need to find the volume of the ellipsoid x square over a square plus y square over b square plus z square over c square equal to 1. Before starting the solution, let's have a look on the formulas. The volume as a double integral. Now first is for the Cartesian coordinates. Let's consider the surface z equal to f of x, y. Then the volume v is given by double integral over r z dx dy. This is for the Cartesian coordinates. And for the cylindrical coordinates, if the equation of the surface be z equal to f of r phi, then just replace dx dy with r dr d phi. So the volume becomes double integral over r z. Now instead of dx dy, I'm writing r dr d phi. Right. Okay. Now let's move on to the solution. Now uh, if you look up over here, there is the volume of an ellipsoid that is v equal to 4 by 3 pi abc. We just proved this volume to be equal to this. And if you notice here, there is a graph for the ellipsoid, the big one and the smaller one. And this green colored one is having eight equal sections if you count them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right. So on account of symmetry, the required volume is 8 times the volume of the ellipsoid in the positive octant. Now, when you talk about the positive octant, we just uh, say that, uh, suppose I'm drawing here. This is your origin. And let this be your x-axis. And this be y-axis. And this be your z-axis right and let this point be a this point be b and this point is c and let's join these like this and then this and then this right <clears throat> Now the volume O, A, B, C, this volume whole complete. This volume in the positive octane lies between the given ellipsoid. And what can I say about the value of Z? Z will be because the ellipsoid is X square over A square plus Y square over B square plus Z square over C square equal to 1. So Z will be equal to? 1 minus x square over a square minus y square over b square square root multiply with c right and the plane x o y this one this plane x o y right For x o y plane, z axis is 0. Alright. And this now this region, the volume of O, A, B, C in this positive octant. Now this lies between the ellipsoid z equal to c square root of 1 minus x square over a square minus y square over b square and the plane x o y. Right? And is bounded on the sides by the plane x equal to 0 and y equal to 0. It is bounded on the sides by these planes. And the, the ellipsoid cuts the plane x o y in the ellipse. Now if you see that x square over a square plus y square over b square is equal to 1. Right? And z is equal to 0. For these two, this ellipsoid is cutting this plane x o y, right? In this ellipse, x square over a square plus y square over b square equal to 1. Let me draw the pellopiped first. 
that is parallel to x o z and z o y plane <coughs> this x o y z x o z plane that means this one and this one so in drawing the parallel pipe that is parallel to this plane x z plane and this y z plane that is this so which means the parallel pipe is like this, 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 and this. Right? Okay. This is your positive octant. The volume OABC lies between ellipsoid. I'm just writing the points now between the ellipsoid z equal to c square root of 1 minus x square over a square minus y square over b square and the plane x o y and bounded by the planes x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 x equal to 0 means y z plane right and y equal to 0 means x z plane so this is parallel to this xz plane so this is yz plane and this is xz plane so now i hope you are understanding the ellipsoid cuts the plane x o y this is the volume o a b c which is lies between the given ellipsoid plane x o y and bounded by the planes this x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 plus the ellipsoid is also cutting this x o y plane into now for x o y plane x square over a square plus y square over b square is equal to 1 right <coughs> so i'm having the ellipse here as x square over a square y square over b square equal to 1 z is equal to 0 and now the volume o a b c is bounded by x equal to 0 x equal to a this complete one x o a b this is bounded by so the volume o a b c is bounded by x equal to 0 x equal to a y equal to 0 y equal to b square root of 1 minus x square over a square this o a this value is your a so x is equal to a and y is equal to b this one b right you can also take y equal to 0 y equal to b x equal to 0 and x is equal to from here 1 minus y square over b square square root into a but here I have taken I have taken x equal to 0 x equal to a and y equal to 0 and y equal to b square root of 1 minus x square over a square and because the limits for y are in the form of x so I must write dy first and writing the limits of y as from 0 to b square root of 1 minus x square over a square and the limits for x from 0 to a and here z all right so this is 8 from 0 to a from 0 to b square root of 1 minus x square over a square and the value of z is just put this value c square root of 1 minus x square over a square minus y square over b square into dy dx and if we integrate this with respect to y for this c is constant so taking c outside and also okay let's take 
b into square root of 1 minus x square over a square. This upper limit to be equal to t. Right? So this is from 0 to a 8 times from 0 to t and here I'm having c. This will be okay. So if you square both the sides, what is the value for 1 minus x square over a square? This is if you square both the sides, this value becomes t square over b square minus y square over b square, right? dy dx. So this is from 0 to a, from 0 to t, okay. Now to integrate this, I'm taking first the denominator b as outside. Because there is a square root, if you take b square as common, so with square root it becomes b. So inside you're having t square minus y square dy dx. So this is equal to 8, 0 to a. Now the integration for square root of t square minus y square is writing c over b, y over 2, square root of t square minus y square plus t square over 2 sine inverse y over t from 0 to t dx. So this is equal to 8c over b and now putting the limits from 0 to a. If you put t over here, I get t square minus t square. This term will vanish. Putting t over here, I get t square over 2 sine inverse 1 is pi by 2. Okay. And then minus putting 0 over here you get 0 here and also the 0 is here. So this is dx. Now just replacing t square with b square 1 minus x square over a square. You can't take t square outside because the value of t is in the form of x. So it will remain over here only, right? Just putting the value of t in the form of x, we integrate that with respect to x, this complete one, and then only we can put the limits. So now taking this pi over 4 outside, so this will become 8c over b into pi over 4 from 0 to a. The value of t square is b square into 1 minus x square over a square dx. Anything remaining? Okay. So this is equal to just writing pi 2 pi bc. Right. And now integrating this. The integration for 1 is x. Integration for x square is x cube over 3 from 0 to a. So this is 2 pi bc. Putting the value in the upper limit. So this is a minus a cube over 3 into a square. So this will be a over 3 and then 0. So this is equal to 2 pi bc. 3a minus a that is 2a over 3 which is equal to 4 pi a b c over 3. So this is the required volume of the ellipsoid. Alright, thank you.